What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done an update with you guys in such a long time and it's definitely time to talk to you all. Now, for me personally, like what I'm gonna say in this video, I don't think it's kinda sunk in just yet, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll we'll see when I, I start explaining to you guys like what has been going on. So as you may or may not know, um, my health has been failing me this year quite badly. And unfortunately, it's one of those things where I'm I'm so used to powering through like for example 2020 was a horrible year for me you know people were attacking me over absolutely everything and anything and it was so dumb but i'm mentally strong or at least i like to think i am so i found that even if i was hurting i could film and i could still get videos out to you guys and that was never an issue for me this year however has been really really different and unfortunately the the thing that is wrong for me is something that i actually found on google never google okay don't do it i i did do it i shouldn't do it you should never google when you're unwell because they'll just give you like the worst <laughs> you know like the worst possible thing so i guess it started in 2020 I started getting a random shooting pain up the left side of my face and initially I had impacted wisdom teeth that's when your bottom teeth have come in at a really awkward angle and some people they don't have to get their wisdom teeth removed most of us do unfortunately so I left that because you know COVID I couldn't even get a dentist appointment anyway and it would come and go and it wasn't that bad to be honest with you and then this january 2021 the the pain was excruciating and that was when i started taking time off work i couldn't film it was impossible and there were some times when i was filming and i was cutting out so much of myself because i was like i was in so much pain you know but i, I didn't want to show it Sometimes, like if I shouted too loud, if I smiled too wide, anything like that, it would trigger this pain. So the doctors were like, we're not dealing with it. We believe it's dental. So they sent me to get my wisdom teeth removed. They gave me antibiotics and like that seemed to be fine. I had them removed via surgery at the start of April. Unfortunately, it took me a month to heal because I got dry socket, which... <laughs> socks um yeah if you've ever had dry socket when you've had a tooth removed you'll know <laughs> you will know if you've had dry socket and that was that so come may the shooting pains came back and i was like are you like for real so i was still filming i was trying but it was getting worse and it was getting worse and i couldn't get seen by anyone because we were still having COVID issues. I'm freaking sick and tired of COVID. Okay, let's just get that out there. And um, eventually I got seen by my dentist who was like, okay, I think it's this tooth or this tooth or actually maybe this tooth. And then come the middle of July, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't drink, I couldn't talk, I couldn't do anything. Everything I did triggered this pain. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna cry. The pain is so bad. That I just, I kept saying, I was like, I don't wanna be me anymore. I, like, I don't wanna deal with this anymore like someone help me please I was going in and out of like a and &E, doctors hospitals different dentists and in the end they took out a bunch of my teeth they took out my molar 
back here they took out a top molar another one and that was that but then they put me on this medication um carbamazepine which it really knocks me out like I'm so tired on this medicine. They give it for people who suffer from epilepsy, depression. I think it is actually an antidepressant. I'm not 100% on that, but I think it is. And they give it for people who have nerve pain. And I was like, nerve pain? I was like, when would I have nerve pain? Like everyone keeps telling me it's dental. Like how, how is this nerve pain? So anyway, I had the teeth removed. And then I noticed in August, this past August, I had to take an entire month off because again, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't drink, I couldn't do anything. And then suddenly these tablets kicked in, or at least initially at the time, I didn't think the tablets had kicked in. I thought that they had taken these teeth out and they took the problem with them. That's what I thought initially. And um, at the end of August, I came off these horrible <laughs> tablets and the pain came back. And I was gutted, like just, I had just tried to come back into work. I had just said on the website, you know, we'll do three a week instead of my usual six because that's all I can manage right now. And the pain came back about four or five days after I came off the carbamazepine. So I tried to go back to the doctors because the dentist gave me an, the all clear. They said, listen, your teeth are fine. Your gums are fine. There's no issue there at all. I was like, well, good, because you ain't taking any more of my teeth out, okay? <laughs> so the start of September, like 16 days ago or something, I went back to the doctors and they were still unsure. They were like, do you have a clicking jaw, that any of this stuff? And I was like, well, I mean, my jaw clicks every so often. Like if I get stressed out, you know, you might grind your teeth or whatever and your jaw might crack for a little bit. But I was like, it's on the other side to this pain. You know, it's not, surely they're not connected. So anyways, still don't really know about that. But I ended up going for an MRI last week and they were looking for a tumor because they thought if there's a tumor on your nerve here that's pinching or anything like that or potential ms um how do you say that multiple cirrhosis that, that could be wrong um but ms anyway so i was thinking okay the dental work is done there's nothing with my teeth the mri is going to find something right it's going to find something I get a phone call on this past Monday and they tell me everything is normal. And I was like, what? Like it's not normal because I'm still in pain. I'm burning constantly, you know, and if I'm not burning, I'm getting shooting pains that literally make me wish that I wasn't alive. That's how bad it is. And they were like, there's nothing there. So I got angry and I went to a private specialist, which costs a fortune, but whatever. Um, because the NHS are just, I get it, like they're backed up, they've got other issues, COVID is, you know, wrecking a lot of things, but, you know, everyone's living with their own pain and I just wanted a second opinion. So, I went to a specialist and got a full check over of absolutely everything and he's like the good news is there is no tumor there is no ms and the bad news is that you have um tn which is trigeminal neuralgia they don't know how people get this some people can get it from like a sporting injury or anything like that and everything i've described to him he's like that's what it is He's like, that might not show up on the MRI because they're looking for tumors and things like that. But he's like, your nerve is playing up and that's why the tablets work because that's what they're there for. And I says to him, I was like, so what's the options? He's like, well, you can't stay on these tablets for the rest of your life because they will cause other parts of your body to fail. 
you also can't have kids on them. Um, I haven't made a decision about that. I'm not there yet, but um, just someone telling me that I can't have kids for as long as I'm on these tablets, that kind of made me feel like, how dare you? <laughs> you know, I, I've never really been 100% on having kids, but suddenly having someone saying you can't have them because of this issue, in a weird way made me feel like, oh my God, I need kids, you know? Um, so anyway, basically I have found out that I'm gonna need to go for a completely different operation, aside from all the other operations I've had this year. And it's not great. <laughs> It's not great. <laughs> oh. when, I, when I found out, I was like, shit, are you kidding me? Like, really? So, the, like, the options are, because they say because I'm younger, the operation, they would be happy to put me through it because they know that I would recover from it. It's not an operation that they would give to older people who suffer with this. They say that typically it's people over 50 who suffer with this. And I was like, huh, that makes sense. The amount of days I feel like I'm over 50, <laughs> you know? Um, just knowing that like, there's a part of your body that's failing and the rest of you is perfectly healthy. It's like, it's hard. And I understand that, you know, there's people a lot less fortunate than me. I get that. I'm just like, oh my god. So anyway, um, they've done a ton of blood work this past Tuesday. My arm is like bruised. It's, I hate giving blood as it is, but they had to fill up a whole bunch of different like vials. They had to test for a ton of different things just to make sure that I am healthy enough to have this kind of a surgery. And I guess I'll find out about that in a couple of days, but they were like basically everything that we have examined on you is showing that this this surgery would be for you and it's funny because i asked him i was like is it this surgery that i think it is and it is the horrible one that i found on google back in january where i was like oh crap this better be a dental issue because if i have to go through that i'm gonna not be happy <laughs> and um so it turned out to be that. These things happen. <laughs> um, so basically what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to go in through here. They're gonna have to shave my hair, which funnily, funnily enough, the vain girl in me was like, really? Like, oh, I've been growing my hair all year. It's getting super long. It's my favorite thing about myself. I hate so much about myself. <sighs> and um, they were like, it's okay. You know, it's just hair, it'll grow back. Um, so they're gonna have to, I don't even know if I'm gonna be awake for this. I, I didn't wanna ask, you know. I think sometimes finding out things on the day is, is fine. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they're gonna have to go in through the back of my head and they have to put a pad between the start of my nerve and I think it's an artery. It's hard to remember because I was like, what, what, what? <laughs> um, they have to put something in between because my nerve is sending the wrong signals and it's doing it all the time. It's like, Imagine eating something and your brain's telling you that you shouldn't be doing that. You're hurting yourself. So it sends an electric shock right up the side of your face. And that's what I've been having. And as I'm recording this, they've had to double my dosage of my medication to completely like, what's the word I'm looking for? Stop? Like dull the nerve on the side of the face? Relax it, I think is the word I'm looking for. And today I just feel out of it. Oh my God, like trying to put my makeup on today. I was like, it's making me so tired. But even as I'm filming this, I'm burning. And the more I talk, 
the more I burn. And then if I burn too much, then it'll start sending the shooting signals. And that's why there's been like no videos because like I can. And I'm frustrated because I want to. I hate letting people down. Like people are paying for my reactions on my website and I can't give them a schedule. And I hate that. I had a lot of people telling me like, oh, you look great, you know, you've been losing weight. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I'm starving, you know, because I can't really eat. I'm scared to eat. I'm scared to drink. Like, I hate when I wake up in the morning because I'm just waiting. <sighs> it's hard. And this is what I've been living with since January and I know I should be I should be happy I guess because now they're like we can fix this but you know there's still part of me that's like what if they're wrong you know what if it's not that <laughs> I mean at this point they've eliminated everything other than this you know it's got all the symptoms that go with it and as I say, the the medication works. So, I mean, you don't get much more sure than that. But I'm scared. Because I'm a big baby, anyway. So, I, um, I have hospital again on this Tuesday coming and they will tell me everything I need to know Everything is private. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. I hope I can afford it. <laughs> I have to afford it. I have to get it. The NHS waiting times at the moment are six to eight months and I can't live like this anymore. So that is where I'm at right now. Um, as I say, I didn't wanna cry. <laughs> I haven't shed a tear, but um, it's hard to talk about because it's killing me and I just want to be happy and I, I want to share my happiness and I, I want to watch some anime you know and share it with you guys and play some Vice City and be stupid and the thing is everything is great my channels are great my website is great I have an editor like I have an accountant, I have employees. <laughs> I have a freaking fly in my office. <laughs> the only thing that's not okay is me. And I can't, you know, I can't let people down. I don't wanna let these people down. Like they believe in me, I hired them and I have to be there for them. And maybe that's my mom thinks i'm crazy because she's like as per usual you're going through it and all you care about is everybody else and i'm just like but i do care about myself obviously but oh my god this freaking fly why is it a midgy i think it's a midgy i'm getting so many midgies right now and it attached itself to my eye my eyelash yeah i don't know I just want to go back to my daily uploads and see people happy because I get to be a part of their routine and that's what makes me happy. And maybe that sounds corny, but it, that makes me happy. And so I don't know. I don't have an exact date for when the surgery is. I know it will be soon. I am going to try my hardest to backlog as much as I can so that you guys don't forget about me. Um, but don't take the piss out of my hair, okay? Because, I don't know, they're not hairdressers, they're surgeons. So I can only imagine it's going to be like my nephew taking a pair of scissors and a shaver to my head and I'm going to come out with like some weird do. And I know that that's not important. But, you know, if I'm recovering, I don't want to feel like shit because I look like shit, you know? Oh man. Okay, well anyways, other than that, 
my dog is good, he's somewhere. My voice has gone raspy because I'm upset. <clears throat> Nightmare. <sighs> so yeah, that's about it. You guys, make sure you follow my Instagram and my Twitter because I, I do put updates on there. And if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. I will try and keep you updated here, I guess. I love you all. And I just hope that, you know, they don't cut the wrong wire next to my brain and I go crazy or something. I mean, I'm, I'm already crazy, but, you know, I guess what I'm saying is I don't want anything else to go wrong off the back of it. Because Christ, anyone going in the back of your head is going to have, like... It's going to be complicated, I guess. But I'm not going to think about things like that because that's negative and I'm trying to... My brother would tell me off. <laughs> oh, and to all the people that think I'm dating Steve, Steve is my brother. Um, I don't know where that came from. There was people the other day that like, you and Steve make such an amazing couple and I was like, that's weird. <laughs> so Steve is my brother, okay. Can we just get that one out there? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna try and play some Vice City. Make sure you subscribe to my gameplay channel. I think we're about to hit 30K, so that's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, I love you guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Stay safe, and 